Hey everybody, it's Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. Hey, I hope you're all doing great. Um, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I have been <laughs> sick again. Uh, I, I, I posted something on the community page, but I don't know how many people actually see that. Um, you know, I had um, a bout of vertigo, which I didn't know was a thing. <laughs> and that lasted about a week and a half. And then about a week later, I got COVID um, for the first time. I have never had it. As a matter of fact, I hadn't been sick since January of 2020 before this January. So four years, no sickness, not even um, sniffles. And then now all of a sudden, <laughs> every, everything's coming. I guess my body was like, okay, it's time to get sick. Um, but I, I have tested negative and I, I still sound like I have a cold. And maybe it has turned into a cold, but I am negative finally. So yay. Um, talk about cabin fever. Like, oh my gosh, I want to get out. So anyway, um, this is going to be so fun. I'm so excited to do this project with you. I've been kind of thinking about it for a while. And I was able to gather up enough goodies. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, well, you, you can probably tell. We're going to be doing a Barbie junk journal. How fun is that? So I'm going to go over my little haul that I had gotten at um, the Ark and um, tell you what I got there and how much I spent. And um, the Ark and the Dollar General. So let's go over that. So what I got at the Ark and the Dollar General was, um, unfortunately, I didn't find as many things as I was hoping. I'm thinking that um, Barbie's kind of popular right now because of the movie and maybe things are just selling. So I found this, only this one thing at um, Dollar General. It's this like huge coloring poster, which I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with yet. I have some ideas. I do like this little bottom flap that says Barbie. And I think I can make some kind of a pocket out of that. I think the rest is um, maybe not usable. But then there's this huge poster. And I think what I'm gonna do is cut off the top and the bottom strip and maybe make a little coloring book um, out of each of those. So, um, and tuck inside the book. So that's what I'm thinking there. The rest of it is way too big, <laughs> it's huge. So I won't be able to really do anything with that. I did find these cute little pink jewels, of course. Barbie's gotta have everything pink and we gotta have a little bling. And, oh, I did find this at the Dollar General. Sorry, <laughs> maybe my mind has been affected by all the, all the um, issues lately. Um, so this is, I mean, I wouldn't have picked this up except it was like the only thing I could find it's spot the difference. So what you do is, you know, they'd like look at the pictures and see what's different, but I can still use some of these. So I've already kind of marked what I wanted to do. So like, this will be a great bookmark. Um, we can have some pockets. Um, this is gonna be um, an image on the cover, on a, on a different cover, I'll tell you about, and a pocket and just lots of fun little images. I'm not gonna use all of these but um, I picked out the ones that I thought would work the best. So that is that. And then at the Ark, I found this cute little Barbie, just a little storybook for $1.49. And um, now I, I am gonna uh, like take this book apart. We're not gonna use it as is because it's got a teeny, teeny, tiny little spine. And I'm not gonna make it a lot bigger and I have a reason for that, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. And then, um, of course, I'm gonna remove all the pages, but I'm going to try to reuse some of them as signature pages. And there's just really cute little pictures in here, and I'm gonna try to be able to use some of these. And, um, and then um, there's the back. So I'm gonna be decorating the cover and the back with some cute uh, papers. And I'm gonna try to make, like, create a window around this image because I'd like to keep this image on the cover and then add some other pretty papers and, and maybe blingy stuff and stuff like that. So the other thing I got at the Ark, I didn't even know something like this uh, existed, Barbie Magnetic Fashions. How cute is this? So it's this cute little case and I'm going to be using this these on the book. And I've already cut these down because I'm going to use them in the book. But these are magnets and they were in here. 
And then there's the two Barbies and all their little, <laughs> sticking to that, all their little outfits. So I removed them from in here and they are gonna go on the front and the back inside cover of the junk journal. And then I'm gonna attach, uh, well, you know, stick on the magnets and we're gonna make a little extra pocket for the um, all the little outfits. How cute, how cute. Um, so, <laughs> so I just think it's really cute. So the reason, and let's get these out of here. The reason that I want this book, um, where's our little book? That's under here. Um, to not be too fat is because I want this to be a little carrying case for our Barbie journal. So it can't be too big. So I basically, I think, I, I don't know if I said this, but I'm gonna double the spine and I can't make it too fat. And then we're gonna have, I'm gonna decorate this all up, a little, I gotta make sure it closes, a little carrying case for our Barbie journal. How cute is that? So in this video, we are gonna construct the journal and I'm gonna decorate the front and the back. Um, in the next video, which I'm hoping will be just in a few days, we're gonna decorate the inside, like with pockets and stickers and ephemera and whatever we, we have to decorate with. What I spent um, on all of these things at the Dollar General and the ARC total was about $8, about $8. And I would have bought more if I would have found more, but this literally was all I found. And then the rest of these um, papers and stickers and things like that, I already had. So, um, you know, just like pink. You know, what are we gonna do for Barbie? We're gonna do pink. Everything's gonna be pink and, um, you know, flowers and, and, and just really fun. So I had all of this other stuff. So um, that is the plan. So let's start deconstructing our book. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to first um, remove the signature, signatures, I think it's, there might be a couple in here, and I believe that they are just glued in. Oh wow, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> that was too easy. What does that mean? This was meant to be. This was meant to be a project for us. So just kind of tear it very gently apart. Well, there we go. Oh, look at there. How about that? Yeah. And then I'm going to try to remove um, a few of these that have like a picture on them and some empty space, maybe for writing. And um, we're gonna use those in the book as they are, like in this um, actual um, configuration, if that makes sense, or orientation, I guess maybe that's the word. So anyway, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so now we need to get this off. Let's see, what's the best way to do it? I'm gonna go down, I can see already like a little rip right here. So I'm just gonna go, just take the craft knife down Boy, that's really going easy. There's, there's that. Cool, huh? And then over here, same thing. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of help bending it. And my plan is to have two about six page signatures. So not very many because we're only going to have about a half an inch wide spine. Let's see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this without cutting myself. <laughs> I don't need any more injuries, thank you very much. Okay. And that's that, wow, that was easy. That was really easy. Okay, I might need to cut, yeah, I think I need to cut this off of here as well, because this is just like flip flopping around. We don't need that. Um, because on this one, see, we took it all the way down. So that's okay, we're gonna do that now. And if you can see like where this little line is there. We don't want any uh, floppy stuff. And just like that, we're done. Okay. Okay, so here's our spine. Yes, it's very small, um, but like I said, um, I wanted, uh, I want to be able to fit it in that case and hopefully I'll still be able to. I'm hoping. Um, so I just have to be very careful about how fat I make the book. And so I'm just going to lay this down and give it, um, you know, a little bit, I gotta be careful not to give it too much space, like, a, you know, those little gullets, so that the book has uh, room to uh, 
flip back and forth. And I'm gonna put one little piece of tape over this just to hold it. Let's see here. Get this down. Get it as straight as I can. So did, uh, did you all have Barbies growing up? Boy, I sure did. I, and I actually, in my 30s, started collecting like uh, collectible Barbies, like Bob Mackie Barbies and just like the really special ones that, um, you know, like the designer Barbies. And, um, but when I was a kid, of course I had a Barbie. I had um, a Midge. I had a Francie. I had a Skipper and I had an Allen and a Ken. <laughs> I had I had the whole family. I only had one of each, but um, oh my gosh, I had so much fun playing with them. Uh, good good times, <laughs> old times, good times. Okay, so now we're gonna take a piece of this uh, packing tape, and we're gonna go over. Um, obviously, we're gonna go over a strip over this and over the back. Now I am planning on putting. A small strip of fabric on the inside but on the outside I didn't really care for that look so I'm gonna do paper um, but it's I've done another book with uh, a paper spine on the outside and it turned out fine so um, as long as we've got some uh, fabric on the inside I think it's gonna be really nice and sturdy so let's just cover this up Okay, got that. This is really good tape for doing your spines. I, I use masking tape sometimes too, and I know I've heard of Tyvek tape. Um, I just haven't bought any yet to do, but I know that that's really great tape. Well, I might as well just fold this right over. Just fold that right over. And then we're gonna do, like I said, a piece on the back. Now I had to be careful of not having the tape be wider than the spine because I don't want that to show through. So, um, or I should say our paper cover for the spine, which is gonna be this, and you'll see why. But this is about two and a half inches, and the tape is, and the tape is only um, a little less than two. So we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be able to hide that tape. So um, let's put this down. I think I'm gonna bring you down a little bit lower here in just a second so you can see a little better. Let's just get this down. Is it about even on each side? Yes, it is. Pull it down. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Now I'm kind of curious. Let's check. Let's see how it fits in here. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. It does. Oh, it does, it snaps, okay. But I gotta be really careful about not making it too fat, like I said. But it does fit, okay. Okay, I went and got a glass of water <laughs> and brought you down a little bit closer. Okay, so now let's get fabric over this. See, it's pink and it's cute, but it's just not, it's, it was the only pink fabric, believe it or not, that I had and um, I just wasn't like, you know, thrilled with, I just didn't think it was fun enough, you know, like it's a fun fabric, but you know, I didn't think it was Barbie enough. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. It wasn't Barbie enough. So let's get this down. I'm just gonna put lots of glue over this. I don't even really care if the glue comes through here because this is all gonna be covered. We're gonna have our signatures over this and then um, we're also going to have our, our magnets, and it is kind of coming through a little bit. Um, I got my little wet wipe here. Um, we're going to have the magnets going over that. So it's going to cover a lot of that. So just push that down. Just add a little bit more strength. I think we're going to put in the signatures first because. I want to put this over. We're going to have the, you know, the strings are going to come through here. And then I want this to cover them. So we're going to have to put in our signatures first, which means we need to decide what we're using. Okay. Okay. So let's find 
some pages, just maybe a few that we can use as signatures, um, signature pages. Now this is, well, I'd like it, I'd like to have a picture. So I like this, oh look, and this is, oh, but I don't like that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll think about that one, okay. <laughs> I could erase it, I suppose. Or maybe it's charming, I don't know, is that charming? Um, somebody scribbled on it. Let's just start kind of pulling and see what we get here. So I've got this loosened a little. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay in one piece. We'll have to see. We need it to stay in one um, piece, basically, in order to use it as a signature page. You know what, I'm gonna move on because that one is not does not wanna come out. So let's look at this one, okay. We have a picture here, and then there's some empty space here, and then this is cute, like Barbie ducked underwater and raced after the boat, cute, okay. Yay, we got it, see what I mean? I want it to be, it needs to be in one sheet so that I can use it as a signature page. And then I, I can easily put some uh, tape over this, maybe some washi tape or something or a strip of paper, maybe a fun strip of paper to reinforce that. I love this, I love it. Okay, let's find another one. Okay, so here's, it looks like this is not one piece, so that isn't gonna work, but it, this will still work. Um, so I'm gently trying to be gentle pulling this out there and this is Eva I read the book <laughs> I thought why not cute cute let's see okay I've got three of them um, I basically took most of the book apart so I could just get two some of these cute writing space and, or for stickers or whatever. And um, this one is the same and we've got Eva here. And that's Barbie obviously. And then I like this one because it's Barbie and her sisters. And this is Midge and this is, mm, I can't remember her name. Anyway, they're her sisters. So, so we've got these. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, enforce, reinforce these little spines, or, you know, not spine, but centers. I have all of these little scraps from, oh, look at this <laughs> leftover magnet. Um, so it doesn't really matter which ones I use. It's, you know, they're gonna coordinate, obviously, with um, the signature pages of the book because I've used, these are papers that I've cut down to use in the book, so it doesn't really matter which ones I use. Let's just uh, put this one down here. And what I'm gonna do, and sorry I keep moving you here. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue them down. A nice bead of glue on the paper. I know it's the right length because I already cut the, well I hope so, because I cut them um, according to the size of the signatures that I wanted to use, or signature pages. I'm just kind of plopping this over the middle. It looks like it's a hair long. I'll trim that off. And that is just gonna give that a lot more stability. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that on each of these, each side. Oh, and this one's cute because it's got the front of the book here. So I'm gonna leave that. Just a little tip if you do this, um, I put these down straight and then remembered that they're gonna have to be folded. So what I'm gonna do next time is fold this in half first so that it's already got a fold. It'll make it easier to fold this after it's glued down. Okay, so I have these all reinforced. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and fold the other signature papers and we'll see what we come up with. Come on, Barbie, let's go party.
Okay, so I folded a bunch of these and then realized that, um, I'm not sure why, <laughs> in my logical mind, I'm trying to figure out why these stick out more, uh, but they do, the ones from the book, um, because these, these fit in here fine. Um, so anyway, I have to trim off the book page, signature pages, um, so that they are the same width as these. So I've measured five and a half wide. I, now I know why, because there was a little bit of the thickness from, you know, um, the middle where, um, you know, there was the empty space that was folded over. <laughs> Too much cold medicine, maybe. I don't know. Ta-da! It worked. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I've got my signatures folded. I think I'm going to have to go with two five page signatures because you can see how, I mean, it fits fine, but once we get pockets in and some goodies, I'm afraid, you know, and it is going to like spread out a little bit. So I'm going to go with two five page signatures and I now need to um, trim down, you know, the inside pages to get that bird beak off. Okay, let's see how that works. Perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so um, now we got to do some holes. I wanted. I need to decide which one of these I want to be the front signature. And I think. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I feel like because she's on the cover here, I think this should be the first one. So we're gonna do it like this. So I'm going to punch some holes with the crocodile, and this will be a nice, clean center um, signature page to um, to do the holes in. So I'm going to do this because now I have to like spread it out. Okay, so we've got um, this is about eight and a half, so about four and a quarter is going to be where we want the middle hole, about. <laughs> and then about, I'm gonna go about an inch in, so I'm gonna go to seven and a half, and then I'm gonna go to one, because that would be an inch in. And I'm gonna punch these holes, and then of course we're gonna do, um, do them the same in this and in the cover. And I'm using the one eighth inch uh, punch on this. Okay, that is done. So now I'm going to cheat <laughs> and I'm going to take, I'm just going to take one of these clips and lay it down. We're just going to use this as the template for our holes. Okay, so we've got our holes. Now we need to mark on the inside of this fabric where the, um, we've got our holes in these. Now we gotta mark on the inside where we want um, our holes on this little spine. So let's see, let's see if we can cheat with this too. So interesting, it basically put them both <laughs> in the same place. So, um, I mean, I am pretty much lined up, you know, well, I'm not, but I'm gonna go by the bigger hole and I'm going to punch that and then I'm gonna do um, one right next to it. So I, you know, it didn't quite work. I, I should have known. It was, you know, it was a pipe dream. What can I say? So I'm gonna go, basically, I think I'm gonna go on either side of these and, um, See what we get. And I have to use the crocodile for this because I have to get through this. Um, this is pretty thick, so. Okay, so I have to show you what happened when I was punching my holes. Um, <laughs> one of them, one of the sets, and you can't see it from here, um, was basically, I don't know if you can see, no, you probably can't tell. Yeah, you can. You see how close that is? It's basically like a thread in between them. And I got off somehow. Um, I don't know if I bumped it or what. 
that's not going to be good. So I took another strip. I have I had another one of these pieces of the um, binding, you know, the bind the binding board or whatever, um, and um, th it was the right size. So I went ahead and um, redid the holes so that they pretty much lined up, so you could still get through the old ones. But this now is sturdy. So. <laughs> And then I uh, went and had lunch because I was like, the, this is not good. Okay, so anyway, it, it's fixed now. So you can see that we have nice holes. And I went ahead and sewed in the um, back signature, which I, that you're supposed to do it that way. I don't know why. So now we're going to do the front signature. And I'm just making sure that this is upright. You know, only two signatures, so pretty easy. Oh, I'm going through... Um, the inside because I want my threads to be on the inside. So then you start on the inside and then I'm sure you've seen this many times, but in case you haven't, um, here's, uh, you go through the center hole. Now, if you want the threads to be on the outside when you're done, then you start on the outside. So that's pretty easy. Now I'm going through this upper hole. So now we're gonna go through here. It might have been okay, but I just feel better kind of doubling that up so that we know that there are some pretty secure, um, you know, holes there. Back down through the bottom and down through here. So then you pull that down and then we're gonna go back up through that center hole again. And we're gonna try to come up on uh, the opposite side of the thread that we have. If we don't, we will just move it to the other side. Okay, so I got it through. So yeah, I'm just gonna move that. Now we, we're gonna have a tie on each side of that um, center hole thread. I'm gonna pull it really nice and snug. See how that looks? That looks really nice. And this is gonna be covered. We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna go over tie it and then because you're supposed to go the other direction and my mind doesn't work that way I'm gonna I turn it upside down and I'm gonna go like this and tie it again and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna tie it again so I think what this will be cute for is maybe in the end hanging some little dangles some cute little um, not necessarily Barbie theme but just fun like pink maybe hearts and who knows what we'll find. Um, I've got some fun things in my stash. So, um, so yeah, this is all, the two signatures are sewn in. And so now we can start decorating um, the uh, cover. Okay, so I have maybe a crazy idea for the front, but let's start with the back because I think it'll be easier. <laughs> let's start easy. Um, I'm gonna do this pretty pink paper. I need to trim this down a little bit. It's a little long. I wasn't sure exactly how big the cover was gonna be um, when I first did it. So we're gonna get this glued down really well. I am considering after the front is all done, Mod Podging it to make sure that, um, you know, it stays really sealed, sort of. So I can just cut this to kind of about the end of here. Let me trim this off. Okay. So I also trimmed a little bit off the top because um, I don't want it sticking up. I want it to get glued down and then it's okay that a little of this pink is showing. I mean, it's pink, right? Um, and remember that our spine cover is gonna be over on this side. So, um, you know, this could have come in even further. I can go out a little bit. So basically, I'm just gonna glue this down. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of move it a little bit so that I make sure that the glue is under all of these edges. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, huh? Cute paper. Also doing a Mod Podge coat on top of it will keep the paper, protect it from getting, you know, if it gets a little dirty or something, it can be cleaned off, can be wiped off. Oh, I love this paper. That is so cute. Okay, so from that book of spot the difference. This is one of, the, this is a much bigger picture, but obviously um, I only have so much room on here. So I might even trim it even a little more. I would, well, 
No, I think we're good. I'm trying to keep a similar amount of border. I also have to keep in mind that this is going to be on here, but I can't put this on until after. So I have to kind of keep in mind, you know, where that's going to land because I don't want it to, I, I mean, I can cut it shorter. I might actually cut this a little bit less wide because I don't want to take up too much of the space. Again, I wasn't sure how much room it was going to take. So, um, so let's not worry too much about that because I can cut that. Okay. So what we're going to do, oh, hold on. I want to round these corners. I'm just going to do a simple corner rounding. I just thought this was such a cute little picture. It's some Barbies hanging out in their little apartment. <laughs> Just having fun. Maybe I'll throw some little jewels on here or something afterwards. I got those pretty pink jewels. I'm sure I have other stuff that would work for that. Okay. Just want to make sure that that's pretty straight. I think that looks good. I don't have, I can move it now, but I just want to see how this is going to work. Oh, that's really good. I might trim this just a tad, just a little tad. No, maybe I don't have to. Actually, I think that's good. I can actually scooch this over a little. Okay, I'm just gonna rub this down. Are we pretty even here? Looks pretty even. Oh, Barbie, you're so cute. This is so cute. Okay, could be fun to, if I could find some kind of cute little trim or ribbon to go around this. So we'll decide that later. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so for this part, this is where it's gonna be a little bit more complicated because what I wanna do, I wanna leave a good portion of Barbie showing and the bar word Barbie. So what I did was I took this piece of cellophane, or it was like a bag, and um, I kind of laid it over to see like, um, you know, I'm gonna cut this out with a craft knife, crazy. I might actually bring it down a little bit further. I might do that. Um, th I'm freehand doing this, so I don't know. <laughs> so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna stick this now in the bag. You know, there might be an easier way to do this. I don't know, this is just what I came up with. Um, so I'm gonna freehand Cut this out. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Let's just take this pen and make, I think I do want to make this a little bit longer. Yeah. Some of this I kind of rubbed off accidentally. Okay. I'm not worried about that because um, I'm going to be cutting through the cellophane, so none of that line is going to show. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So make sure that this is in here correct because this is how I sized it. <sighs> okay. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Bandy. I love it. I love it. I love it so I much. Love it. Are you Every ready? Second yes, of it. I love, I love it. it. I can't, I can't get wait. enough. I can't. Here we go. I can't. Okay. Carefully turn this around. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Did it work? Did it work? Oh. Oh. In some places it did, and some, in some it didn't. Okay, I have to go over it again. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> she says, um, optimistically. Okay, so I just have to make sure I get it right back in the same place. So it looks like this didn't take very well. Okay, let's see. Okay, that did. All right, that's okay. Looks like there's a little spot right here. And I can probably fix this a little bit if it's a little rough. Okay, that looks okay. Oh boy, ta-da, it worked. <laughs> now this is the part we wanna use. So um, I can, there's like a little hangy thing. I think I can just trim that off. 
And the rest of it, I think, looks pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's really cute. Um, so now I need to, I do need to trim off a little bit. Yeah, I can trim a little off the uh, top to bring it up a little. And then I think I'll do a little bit off of each end. Okay, yeah, I think that that's better. I think that that's better. It might cover up a, a teeny tiny bit of that. So I'm just gonna load up this sheet with glue and hope I get it down properly. Okay, here she goes. might lose a tiny bit of our word Barbie, but I was just not wanting to um, push it any more than I did. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there's about an equal amount of the blue showing. I don't mind that. It's part of the cover. That is cute, right? Isn't that cute? And I think adding the Mod Podge is going to give it a little shine, and it's going to make it look like it was supposed to be this the whole the whole time. So what I want to do is I want to spell out my M Y with these really cute glittery um, like diamondy uh, letters my M Y my Barbie and then journal across here. So in these letters. I'll get you there, oh, oh, I'm on vacation in Barbie Nation. I packed my bags, but I, I don't, don't know what to know wear. What to wear but okay, I'm just going to slip that over the side. Oh, yeah, that's good. See, that's really good. I think it needs to come over a little, make it as tight as we can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So um, I'm, I think I might have to put a little bit more glue on it. But before we get too far, I wanna put down the, um, the magnets because I want that to be really dry um, and set up before we start decorating. I hope they still fit because I did make the cover a little shorter than I was going to. No, that's good. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so lots of glue with this. It's too bad I have to cover that up, but. Oh well. Paris, Milan, Tokyo, Tokyo, London, New York, Tokyo, Tokyo, Paris, Okay. Down she goes. So I've got a little bit of the fabric showing, which is perfectly fine. And we've got most of this pink background covered up. Yeah. Let's see if that shuts. Yep, it shuts. Actually, that shuts really nice. Okay. Let's do the back side. All right, that looks good. Closes, closes really nice. You know what, it might not be that big, but suddenly it got heavy, <laughs> like, with those two magnets, because they're pretty hefty. So, okay, all right. So I think what I'm gonna do, it, yeah, I think I am gonna put down, I think I am gonna put down the My Journal and Mod Podge over that. I wanna put something down here, but I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna hold off on that, and I may not that may not want that covered with Mod Podge. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna be done for today. Okay, Barbie, let's do my, yeah, cause these are pretty like um, delicate. So I, maybe putting the Mod Podge over them will be good. Put it. stuck to my finger. Put it here and we've got our our Y. My. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay. Barbie journal. And I did check to make sure <laughs> that I had all the letters. 
Try to go in the same angle. I'm on vacation in Barbie Nation. I packed my bags, but I, I don't, don't know what to wear. What to wear but I feel pretty in pink. 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 My Barbie journal. I love it. I am just still a kid, I guess. Okay. Um, hopefully the Mod Podge won't um, dull these little gems, uh, but I think it'll be good to seal it in. And then, like I said, we're going to do more down here and I'll probably do some more stuff back here. Um, and um, in the meantime, I'm going to Mod Podge it. So um, anyway, this is where we're at right now. She's super cute. Next time, in the next video, we're going to decorate. We're going to put pockets in. We're going to use our fun pictures. We're going to use stickers. I got all kinds of fun stickers and embellishments, and we're gonna Barbie this thing up. So, <laughs> Barbie glam. So, thanks so much for watching, you guys. As always, I appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.